Hello everybody, this is Mr. Jan. I'm here with monthly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus for the month of May 2019. Again, this may not resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest behind. Check out your other signs, just in case there might be some additional information you could pick up on, or one of your other signs might resonate with you a little bit better. This is a general reading. Just going to get general overall energies. And please do make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get started here. We're going to pull one of these for a general overall energy. Okay, what message do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus for the month of May 2019, please? What overall energy? This card wants to jump. This is... Um, Serenity, pity, serenity, serenity, pity, whatever that's supposed to be. Okay, it is four leaf clover. This is good luck. So it looks like that there is something that is going to be going your way, Sagittarius. For once, luck is going to be on your side in the month of May. Okay. For this, I am actually going to get into the guidebook for, okay, and we're going to see what the, guy, what the book has to say about this particular card. I'm feeling luck because of the four-leaf clover. It's number, card number 18. Okay, you've stepped into alignment with your greater good. Where your dreams and the collective dream resonates in exquisite harmony. Now is the time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you could never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now as a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of of the whole world. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into being now will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you so very much. And spirit also has a plan in regards to relationships, and the plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey, someone spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. So luck is on your side in whatever it is, whether it's in job, career, it could be in relationships. Um, finally, something is going to be going your way. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and dig into the tarot. So that's an overall energy. That's for Sagittarius, 
luck is changing. Doesn't mean it's for every single Sagittarian out there, but for overall, it is changing. Okay, and we're just going to see what other messages Spirit has. Messages for Sagittarius, please. May 2019. Okay. Okay, the messages that we have here. We have the nine of coins. This is independence. This is wealth and abundance. This is somebody finding their worth, knowing who they are, that self-esteem, knowing that they, this is somebody who doesn't need anybody. This person has everything that they ha need. They don't want for anything. They're not relying on anybody but themselves. Okay. This is very independent. Usually a single person. Someone living a single life. Okay. So. Uh, feels like somebody is on the road. Or they're currently single. Or they are single in May. With the Ace of Swords of communication. New intellectual communication. Um, this is probably, could be communication from spirit. This is the Sword of Truth. Okay, so what I feel like is that the truth about a situation has come to pass. Somebody's finally seen the truth and is now single and decided that they're, they don't need the bullshit. And they're, they're not going to rely on anybody but themselves. Okay, this is somebody who has really made a conscious decision that they don't need anybody. Uh... And sometimes, that's a two-edged sword, just clarity coming to you, clarity of mind. Okay, so somebody's very clear on where they're going, okay? And we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, I'm feeling in this case, is this is somebody that's in the middle of a self-reflection. This is communications. This is, also could be communication from spirit or messages of love coming your way. Uh, this could be self-love, okay? Communicating with the higher self, okay? Because somebody has found out what they are really worth. Somebody has found the clarity, and there's a lot of finding that self-esteem, finding that self-love. There could also be messages of love. We have the Eight of Cups. So... What it feels like is somebody has just, it feels like somebody's going on a journey. Somebody's walking away from something that no longer serves them. They're finding themselves. They're communicating with their spirit. Their higher self is what I'm feeling like. Messages from, of love from spirit. They've seen the light. They've become enlightened and the truth has come out about a situation. And somebody's walking away. Okay, somebody's deciding to walk away from a situation and find their a new go on to a new path, a new direction. And this is the Knight of Swords, but in reverse. So, what I'm feeling from the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords upright is somebody who's very focused. Somebody who is driving towards a goal. It 
It, it could also be something happening very, very quickly. And with it reversed, this is something that is on your mind, way that's in reality, or how you perceive things. Okay? And your hopes. You're either hoping for things to slow down for you, or you're feeling like things are at a standstill. They're no, they're, things are, it's taken a long time for the situation to develop. But they're, it's finally coming... But you're in a position where you might be, is it, I see this as a possible warning about rash decisions, hasty decisions, okay? That you're walking away, but you have to really pay attention and don't make any hasty or stupid decisions in the process. Be, I feel like you need to pay close attention to this, this sword. We're going to see what the next card is. It's going to connect you to the next card. And it's like a bridge uh, from where you come from and where you're going. Now this came up reverse. This is the Six of Swords. But it's in reverse. Upright, it's about moving away from the storm and go going through a passageway. Traveling and away and getting out of this troubled water into something more tranquil. But in reverse, you could be jumping out of the frying pan into the fire. Just saying. I feel like luck is, is on your side. But that only helps so far. <coughs> because we have free will. Okay? And with free will, we can make decisions that alter the outcome and what I'm feeling here is you're walking away on a new journey into the possible you have the chance to go into much calmer waters a much better place um, a serenity as long as you don't act hastily if you act hasty and if you don't think things through you get you could end up even in a bigger shit storm per se and it's just saying you have to pay very close attention to your intuition. Page of cups of messages from your intuition, your higher self and spirit. Okay? That is speaking to you behind the scenes, probably through your dreams. Or some kind of, maybe deja vu or something. There's something happening there that the spirit's trying to get your attention. And trying to communicate that you have to stop being hasty. You're going to be hasty. You're going to be rash. Okay, if you don't think things through or where you're going, you're going to end up in, like I said, I hear jumping out of the frying pan and into the fire. So you have to be careful about the decisions that you're making as you're going on this new path. And we have the devil in reverse. Um, this is you, Sagittarius. This is somebody breaking the chains, breaking free from an unhealthy situation. Somebody was in an unhealthy relationship. And I'm being told it was codependent. A codependent relationship that was comfortable, but you were bound to each other. There might have been financial responsibilities or financial bond, bonds that kept you from moving forward. Okay. And you are, this is where you're at. This is where, this is you. This is you breaking free, breaking the chains. This is you who is no longer attached, but detached. If de you're detached from the situation. Okay. Your environment is the magician, somebody, and it's in the reverse. And what I'm getting here is that somebody, your environment is more of trickery. In this environment, it's like 
no power. You have no power in this in this in the environment that you're leaving. Okay. The other person wears the pants. The other person is in control. The other person I feel like is manipulative. Knows what buttons to push to get what they want. Okay. And it was definitely unhealthy. I feel depression. Okay. And so that is the reason why you, I, the, of going out on this journey and walking away from this. Okay. So we have two ones here, which are sim symbolizing new beginnings. We have Ace is a one, the Magician is a one. One is upright, one's crossing. Okay, one is bridging. And one, and this is telling me that it appears that you don't have any power in this situation, but the fact that you're willing to break free and go off in a new direction says you do have power. And I think that's, you're coming into that because it's about becoming independent. Becoming single. Someone's hitting this, it could become, be single again. Okay. Queen of Swords in reverse. In uh, advice or guidance, it's also known as something that you need to know. And it could be something hidden, something you did not know about. And the Queen of Swords reverse is somebody who is, they are the manipulator. Okay? They are... Upright, she's cold, but she still has, she may be cold and very analytical, but she, do, and she doesn't show her love, but her love is there, okay? She seeks truth. This is somebody who seeks lies. This is somebody who hides the truth. So, Sag, you are dealing with someone who is not upright, truthful, and honest. And these two reversed together is somebody who lies and tell stories and it's very cold and calculating and very manipulative okay she's very cunning and she's somebody you cannot trust is that and this is an eye opener be careful who you're dealing with this is more or less, most likely an air sign sun rising moon uh, it would be with your air signs or your Aquarius, your Gemini, and your Libras. But it's somebody who is just totally manipulating you. You're the puppet, and they're the puppeteer. Okay, this is the environment that, that you're breaking free of. And then we have the Hierophant card. It says faith, but it's reversed. So, somebody has lost faith. You've lost faith in the situation. This is, and this is for May. Um, the Hierophant reversed. Traditions thrown out the window. Commitments gone. Thrown out the window and broken. So, what I'm feeling like is that Yes, sad, you could be heading to divorce court. If you're married, you could be a total breakup. If you're not married and committed, it's, I feel like that um, it's just about over. I think you've had enough. 
and you know your worth. And you're on your way to being becoming single again. Um, typically, breakups and stuff like that I leave people feeling hurt, brokenhearted. Um, depressed. But for some reason, Spirit is showing me this is something you want. You've been wanting out. And, and I think this breakup is going to have the opposite effect on you, Sag. Just saying. And I'm going to pull a couple runes here. <coughs> okay, we have the blank rune. Which is divine. <coughs> okay. <coughs> the blank rune is what they call Odin's rune. And the blank rune is... It's, it's telling you that anything is possible. Again, you know how the luck is on your way. The universe is coming. Is intervening for you bringing you exactly what you want you're going to get that lucky break and this blank rune is saying that you can manifest this is about manifestation also um but you you weren't manifesting you've lost faith in it you can manifest anything that you want you are a magician just saying, it's just, just what I'm feeling right now. Okay. And the, the magician is also associated well, the magician's like, I'm just feeling like he's like Mars energy very masculine but you have to let you have to realize you have the power to change things and this is about giving up your power to somebody else that's the environment you've been in and I think you're taking that power back okay that is what I'm feeling there and then the other room, which I look at as just an arrow, um, I can never pronounce these correctly. T was is the way I almost. And it's been reversed. And re it's about being low on energy. Okay. It's low on energy and lack of enthusiasm. It's like no. It feels like that there's no spark for life. You've been in this situation for so long that you've lost yourself in it. You've, you've lost that fire. You've lost that enthusiasm. Okay? But it's time to get that back. And as I said, be careful of your decisions that you don't jump out of the frying pan and into the fire. You are ready. You are going, walking on a, t a new path. There's been some kind of truth, and I think whatever the Queen of Swords was hiding, it's been found out. It does lead you to a, a the single life independence, relying on yourself, and a lot of self-reflection going on here, a lot of communi There's communications from spirits, spirits all over this. This is divinely orchestrated. 
Just saying. Some of it's out of your control, but what is in your control are the future decisions you make. Don't just jump. Don't just leap. You walk on a new path. Take your time. Methodically plan things out. Don't just rush into anything. Because like I said, Spirit says you could jump out of the frying pan into the fire. Spirit is giving you a break. You're, you're getting this lucky break to finally have the means to get out of this situation. Okay? Spirit leads you out. But you have to be careful you don't get into something worse. So be very careful about your decisions. Okay, so this is what I have for Sag. I do thank you for watching. Again, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you like a personal reading, please do see the description box below. And I thank you and see you later. Ta-da! To-do! Toodles! That's the word I was looking for. Toodles!